Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, this is part two of Facebook members share their best February Bolo. These are items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. So in this post, I ask Facebook members to share their Bolo. And what they do is they post a screenshot and then they share where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And I'm Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. amazing right all right let's get started i'm gonna show you guys those items in video format so if you want to be a part of this video definitely go over to my um bolo buddies facebook group and go to the announcements section and you guys can post a screenshot and be featured you're not actually featured everything remains private i only feature your bolo item if you're a bolo buddies member of my youtube channel um, you do get shout outs for perks. So if you hear me mention somebody and say they're a Bolo Buddies member, that's what it means. They're just a member of my channel. If you want to join memberships, there's a link down in the description. To get the shout out for your YouTube channel or eBay store, you have to be at level two. All right, you guys, let's get started with some big money and maybe a few bread and butter Bolos. Sold in about three months, purchased at a yard sale for about a dollar or two. Yard sale had only new stuff. I think they were just upload, or I'm sorry, unloading pallets or something. Sold on Poshmark, full, <laughs> full, four, it was a typo. No, it's not. Sold on Poshmark, full asking price. I had 79 likes on this item and it sent 30% off plus free shipping multiple times, but no one would pull the trigger. Also had it on eBay. Someone liked it immediately, bought it with no offer. Yay. Beetle Juice Eyeshadow Palette from Hot Topic. What? $125, you guys. That is why cross-posting is so important. Um, I use this perfectly. It's an extension to cross-post my items in bulk. I start on eBay and I cross-post to Mercari and Poshmark. Sometimes I do some other platforms. But if you're interested in learning about that, there is a link down in the description of a video where I show you how I use this perfectly. If you like what you see and want to try it, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word. All right, this next one here. Bought from a friend for $50 three years ago and just sold for $172. So these are Ray Dunn canisters. Um, again, another Mercari sale, you guys. If you're not selling on Mercari, you might want to check it out. Um, it's a great platform. I have a link down below. If you sign up and you use my uh, link, you get a coupon when you uh, join, and then you get a coupon when you sell $100 worth, and then they send me a coupon. So I would love it if you'd use my link, but no worries if not. So Ray Dunn is one of those that is kind of hit and miss. The really, really, really early ones that they did when they first started Someone in the group sold one with like her thumbprint on the back and it went for crazy money. So that's something to look for. I think it was a thumbprint. It's in another one of my videos, but Ray Dunn can be big money. So definitely look it up. I think I may have underpriced mine because it was in really rough shape, but it sold for full asking price within an hour of listing. Picked up at a yard sale for $3. It looks like it's a lithograph signed and numbered Claude Weiss book, 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 book. I don't know. Claude Weiss book. Sold for $99, um, and it looks like it had free shipping. Hard Shell Golf Case. Bought at the Goodwill for $4.98. Sold it in two days for $159.99 plus shipping. Purchased at Savers for $2.99. Listed on Mercari and eBay for $160. Sold on Mercari 48 hours later. So what I say is a lot of times items that are saturated on eBay will do better on Mercari and Poshmark because they're not as saturated over there. So this is a home stuck cosplay. It's a plush dragon, you guys. $160, that's what it looks like. I paid $50 for these and took an offer for $380 plus shipping. I bought them at Ross. If you guys don't know what Ross is, it is a discount store, kind of like TJ Maxx or Burlington or Marshalls. Um, this one came from Flippin' It Good, and he is a Bolo Buddies member. He is also a mega retail arbitrage Bolo finder, you guys. He goes out to discount stores like Ross, Burlington, 
places like that. And he is just finding amazing stuff. Now he also sells vintage items and stuff he picks up at garage sales, but definitely go check out his channel. You can definitely learn a lot. These are Calvin Klein women's boots. Um, he picked these up again for 50 bucks and sold them for $380. I didn't even know other than through him that Calvin Klein had that high end of shoes. That's crazy. This isn't the first pair he sold. Go check out his channel. It's amazing. Uh, paid $5.25 at the Habitat for Humanity. Had an offer of $80 within the first hour of listing. Countered at $90. Someone bought for full price before a buyer responded. Big money. Vintage Ornate Pyrex El Dorado Amoeba 68 or um, 684C lid. I That must just be like the pattern and stuff. There is no official pattern name for these lids. They came in three different patterns and two color versions. They have been referred to as El Dorado or Amoeba. Some were designed by Fred Press and George Briad, most likely from the 60s. This lid had some gold wear loss. There is two manufactured defects. You can see the glass swirls around the defects, so it is not a crack. No chips or cracks. And it sold for $100 plus shipping on Mercari. Lots of Mercari sales. Wow. Okay, very cool. Yeah. Paid $8 at the Salvation Army. Sold for $98.99. Shoes are my bread and butter, I think. Okay, this one comes from Carrie, who is a moderator of this uh, Facebook group. She helps me mod. And she has an amazing channel. She's really great with keywords. She's great with vintage clothing, vintage items in general. Check her out. These are Gentle Souls Kenneth Cole um, Eugene Calf Hair Flats. Cheetah Leopard. Sold for $98.99, you guys. And her YouTube channel is Be Carried Away. Looks like this. Here is another one from Flippin' It Good. And this is a clothing item. Air Jordan Remastered Jacket. Bought this for $16.99. This one is a size 3XL. I took an offer of $150 plus shipping. Looks like this sold on Poshmark. Um... Again, probably a retail arbitrage thing. He didn't put where he got it, but he usually, it's usually like Ross or Burlington or something like that. Pick this book up from a thrift store for a dollar. Had someone offer me 60. Then I countered at 65 and someone came in and bought it for full asking while the other person was deciding in a matter of minutes. It is an Unintended Consequences by John Ross from 1996. It sold for $79.98 plus shipping. Paid $13.99, super cool wool rich jacket from the 60s. Uh, you guys, it sold for $149.99 uh, from the 1960s. Wow, super cool. I don't know where they got it, sorry. Got this at a garage sale in the fall for $3. Listed it January and sold it just under a month for $44.75. It is a, oh boy, here we go, Baparama. B-A-P-A-R-O-M-A. -A -A. Never heard of that brand. Steam Master Baking Artisan French Bread Pan. Set five pans with lid. Huh, $44.75. Got this at the Goodwill for $2.99. A day after Christmas was sent a best offer and took it. Could have waited for more money, but didn't feel like gambling. I had it listed for $249, and it sold for $178. It is 101 Dalmatians Jumbo Beach Ball, you guys. Gotta love that. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Mindful Recycle. Um, Terry is also a moderator of the group and helps keep the comments under control. So thank you, Terry, for that. You guys definitely go sub her up. She is an Big time Bolo Finder, amazing channel. Um, you will definitely learn a lot from her. This would have to be my favorite one because I know nothing about golf clubs, but ended up picking them up on a whim. Finally listed them after having them for a month and they sold in a few weeks. I now know that they are very easy to look up and will pick up again. Found at a garage sale this summer for 90 and sold at the highest bidder for 450 and the buyer paid shipping. So they are... Uh, Titleist AP1 712 right hand iron set standard length and lie R300 shaft. Whatever that means. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, the Rebel Reseller. She specializes in plush, but sells a lot of vintage items. You'll definitely love her channel. 
you can check her out here. Pick these up at, at the Goodwill bins. They were very heavy, so I asked if I could get a set price for them instead of by weight. They sold them to me for $10, I believe. So you guys, they are Haba Wood Blocks, natural color, 200 plus preschool. That would have been a pain to ship, but just a huge lot of blocks. Good idea asking them if they would give her a discount because they were so heavy. I bought it at, um, or I'm sorry, I bought it for $3.94 at Volunteers of America near Cleveland, Ohio. It turned out to be quite a quite rare Bratz doll head. Sold within minutes of posting on Mercari. Perhaps I posted it too low. It says ultra rare Bratz Sweet Dreams Pajama Party Kumi, K-U-M-I, styling head. Sold for $150 with free shipping. I got this at an estate sale. I paid $20 for the lot and it sold for $275 plus $75 shipping. It's an Oster Regency Kitchen Center food processor app appliance and almond. A vintage mixer with attachments. Says MCM Shredder Beater. I don't know. That's what it looks like. Looks pretty big. I got this pretty doll at an estate sale over the summer months over the summer months and I had it listed for 150 with like seven watchers I accepted the 125 plus shipping offer I paid 15 took like five to six months to sell it says Brian Lars Treasures of Africa Moja Barbie doll 2001 collector's edition but it's a Barbie you guys and it sold for $124.99 very cool Okay, this one's mine. I love selling toys. You guys, if you watch me, you know that. This is a replacement berry for the for real unicorn. You guys, it's just the berry. Uh, these are a great bolo. They, these typically sell fast and for a great profit. And then I said, check out my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel for more bolos. All right, you guys. So this is what it looks like. It's Starly Unicorn Magical Sugar Berry Replacement Berry. And I sold this for $28 plus shipping. Bought at Goodwill for $1.99 in the toy section. Sold today for $455. It is a Sun Rubber Company Sunny the Bear jointed squeak toy. Wow, $455, bucks, you guys. Those old squeaky toys can definitely be a bolo. I feel like I remember my grandma having one of these or something. Anyway, actually found a Liberty Puzzle at the Goodwill for $1.99. There was only one listed when I posted my auction. I had my auction extended past the other and it went for $123.95. Buyer paid with the, within the hour and shipped the next morning. Um, so it's a, it's a wooden puzzle, you guys, by Liberty. So definitely be on the lookout. Okay, bought it in a yard, bought at a yard sale, two for five, sold within a couple hours, took a best offer of 75. Listed the other one after this one, sold for 85. Hopefully we'll sell fast too. Buyer was all in for 88. Stunning vintage Tiffany style Capiz, Capiz shell lampshade. Eight. Sold 63 plus shipping. The next one comes from Bolo Buddies member Jack's Treasures. And they do a lot of storage unit videos over on their channel. And they also have booths. So go check them out. That's their YouTube channel. I had pennies in this from a storage unit, sold for full price less than a day after posting to someone who saw it on a TikTok video. I did. Prove to me that even us, those of us with teeny tiny, uh, sorry, teeny tiny social media presences can see some results. And it is a vintage Disney Nightmare Before Christmas t-shirt, single stitch, and it sold for $130 plus shipping. I bought a huge lot at, of this restaurant wear, chicken in the rough, okay, um, for $10 at a thrift store. I got six listings out of the lot. So for these two listings, it's about $3.50. Chicken in the rough, vintage restaurant wear. Huh. These are gravy bowls and dessert plates, and the set sold for $60. Purchased at a thrift store for about $10. I paid up because it looked interesting. Sold same day for a best offer. The same one sold for $99 free shipping on Worth Point. I sit on items for months, so I was happy for this quick sale. Mine had a glue repaired leg 
which I disclosed in the description and in the photos. I got great positive feedback. So um, I recently did a um, is worth point worth it video where I show you guys an item that I got way more money for because I used worth point. I also show you how I use worth point to um, research to um, get better prices for my items. Um, I compare it to Terapeak and I also go over the price guide. So if you guys want to learn about worth point, this is what the video looks like. There's also a link um, down in the description that will take you over to worth point. And it is um, my referral link. Okay. So yeah, this guy sold for 60 bucks plus shipping. Certain dresses do well. Pick this up for $5 each. There's an Adriana Papel Paisley Embroidered Shift Dress. I don't know about you guys, but when I sell clothing and I uh, sell dresses, I have such a hard time figuring out the style. That is one thing that I hate about Mercari is it makes you pick a style. I wish they had a category that said other. <laughs> so I would not have to like try to figure it out. That's one thing. Mercari fix it. Um, this other one, so that one sold for 80 and super white lacy wedding prom. Uh, I don't know. It's some, it says 80s. So I don't know if it's vintage or what. Lolita, Lolita type dress. What is Lolita? Anyway, this one sold for 80 also. <laughs> it's really cool looking. This one comes from a rural squirrel and she has a YouTube channel also. She's a Bolo Bunnies member. This is what it looks like. Go check her out. She does a ton of Ben's videos. And I got this Osprey backpacking pack at the Goodwill outlet, which is the Ben's. And paid by weight, so about $6.87 for it. I accepted a best offer of $105 for it. Osprey is a really popular outdoor camping company. So never heard of it. So good to know. This was on my own, or I'm sorry, this was my own perfume. I just never liked it, so I just, it sat in my vanity. I probably got it years ago. Sold for $100 on a seven-day auction that I started at $99 with only two bids. It is Victoria's Secret Dream Angel Divine Perfume Full Bottle, no box. So um, it's discontinued. It's new without the box. So if the item is pre-owned, you are not allowed to sell it on eBay. From what I understand, even in the, what do you call it? Uh, vintage collectibles. That's how they were, people were doing it. That's what I was told to do and what I did for a while. And then somebody messaged me and said, hey, you're not allowed to do that at all. And I'm like, really? Um, they confirmed it with eBay. So I took all of my perfumes down that were not new. So that's what I did. <clears throat> um, I don't know. Free off my 1974 Pinto. My mom keeps them all these years. Sold in less than a week. They went to Sweden. They paid as much in shipping as they did for the item. That's what happens sometimes. Um, let's see. It's an emblem. And it sold for $32.01. Paid $10 and took a best offer. Sold in a week. It is a vintage American hat company felt cowboy hat in box. Sold for $85 plus shipping. Purchased at a local thrift store for $10. Decided to auction it. Started it at $59.99. I would have been happy with anything at that starting price, but people got into a war. Always comp those cameras. It sold for $140.50 auction style. I found this teddy bear at the Salvation Army for $0.25. Cents. I got it for my dogs to play with. Before I gave it to them, I looked up the brand. There was the same ones that sold for over 50. I listed mine at $49.99, took an offer for 30 after a couple of weeks on eBay. It is an okie dokie plush teddy bear. Huh. 30 bucks plus shipping. Okay, you guys, here's another one of mine. Let's see. I picked this up from YouTuber Auctions for You. This is her YouTube channel. And her and Donatella Bottolino, this is Donna's channel, they do selling events that really cater to resellers. They sometimes do one-offs for people just looking for personal items, um, but most of their items are going to resellers. They have like really built up an amazing following, a great reputation, 
I love buying from them. I've been buying, buying from them probably for close to three years now, I would say. But anyway, I bought a mystery toy box from uh, Auctions for You. I have a video, looks like this, if you want to go see everything that I got in the box, how I listed everything and what has sold before I did the video. Um, I paid $100 for the box and I expect to make over $700 from the contents. This is one of the items that was in it. It is a vintage Muppet Babies 1989 castle playset. It was not in great condition. It had some defects. It was missing pieces. Some of the stickers were falling off. If this would have been in mint condition, it would have went for a lot. I ended up selling this for $60 plus shipping with the issues. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, um, Carrie, and her channel is Be Carried Away. Definitely go check her out. This is amazing. Paid $2.99 at the Good, or I'm sorry, at the Salvation Army. Sold on Facebook Marketplace for $398, you guys. Buyer was all in for $441.77. And here is Carrie holding the item. Look how small it is. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. Okay, posted them on Mercari and they sold within hours. The, oh, I always say this wrong. You guys have helped me try to learn how to say it. Is it Lee Crusay? Oh, Lee Crusay. I might be saying it right, but maybe not. I apologize if not. Um, it's a garlic keeper, paid a dollar, and mini Victoria's Secret perfumes, 12, 12 total, sold for asking. So the Victoria's Secret perfumes sold for 65, and this um, little uh, garlic keeper sold for 30. So very cool. Bought bear with bear from oh bought bear from bear in the big blue house at Goodwill for three ninety nine and sold a week later for twenty three ninety nine as I walked around Goodwill everyone kept calling him Alf um, bear in the big blue house can definitely be a bolo um, some of them go for pretty decent money twenty three ninety nine seems a little low in my opinion but I haven't researched this item. But I usually list bear in the big blue house. I list it higher. Paid a dollar at a garage sale. Listed for $125. Took a best offer of $100 two hours after listing. You guys, these are the Disney Dorables. They're little teeny figures. They're like Disney characters. And you can sell these individually. You can sell these in small lots. She decided to list all of them together. 122 of them in a lot. So a reseller may have picked this up. But she paid a dollar at a garage sale for all of them. That is amazing. Okay, these rare 1950s Tupperware sold at, after four months. My store had 14% off coupon. The six cups cost me $1 at a yard sale. Never have seen 1950s Tupperware with flowers like this. They looked like Hazel Atlas Glassware, MCM. So they're Tupperware. That's amazing. I've never seen anything like that either. I thought they were glasses, actually, when I first saw the, the post. They sold for $65 plus shipping. That is awesome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. This is probably going to be a three-part video. Um, part one should already be posted. Uh, check out the description of the video. I've got lots of links and stuff down there you guys can check out. Um, be sure to follow the members that I mentioned in the video. They have great YouTube channels. And be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to see more Bolo Buddies content. If you hit the bell, that will alert you when I post new videos. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And leave me an emoji of an owl if you made it this far. Thanks for watching. Off. Off. Oh my gosh, I was taking a picture instead of hitting off.